Hi, my name is Elizabeth Blandin from Blandin Law, and today's video is about the three most common exceptions to the one-year deadline for filing asylum with immigration. Generally, when you're going to file immigration and you've arrived in the United States, you need to file it within one year of your last entry. But that doesn't mean that that's always the case. And let me talk about the three most common exceptions. One is if you are legally in status in the United States. Students can be in the United States for years and years. So can some type of people on certain types of work visas. You can still apply for asylum within a reasonable time after that status ends. And by reasonable time, I'm talking about three months. If you know you cannot return to your home country, you should you know, obviously apply as soon as possible, even when you're in status. But even if you're out of status, you have a reasonable time to apply for asylum. Second major exception to the one-year deadline is a change in personal circumstances or country conditions. And what I mean by this is you're obviously not going to apply for asylum until you feel that you are going to be significantly harmed if you return. So perhaps you are an LGBT person, and this is one example, or another example, you are someone who has been questioning your spiritual beliefs, but only after arriving in the United States do you actually come out as either an atheist or a secular humanist or someone who would be considered an apostate in your country. In many countries in the world, both LGBT persons and um, atheists are harmed significantly because of their beliefs and their personal circumstances. So you have reasonable time after coming out, so to speak, to apply for asylum because of the change in your personal circumstances. Very similar to this is a change in your country conditions. As an example, the situation for Jewish people in Venezuela has considerably worsened recently, and I'm talking now today in 2017. So maybe in the past, a Jewish person would have been able to return to Venezuela, and now they can't. So you can also apply within a reasonable time after the situation has changed in your country. One final thing to note is that you are allowed to apply for asylum within one year of your last entry. So if you have an application with immigration, which allows you to have a travel permission known as advanced parole, and for example, you leave the United States on advanced parole and you return to the United States, it is a year after that last entry, regardless of the way you came in. It's not one year after your last entry on your visitor visa, which you may have come in on several times before you came in on advanced parole. These are all very important things to keep in mind, and you absolutely need to speak to an experienced immigration expert if you are filing after the one year. It is not impossible. It is very possible to win, and I personally have won asylum cases for persons who applied 16 years after they entered. So I hope this information has been useful to you. Uh, we're here to inform and protect. And if you're a client, we look forward to opening the door to your success.